What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. On Saturday, February 18th, Pikeville Fire Department received a call about a gas leak at Texas Roadhouse on Cassidy Boulevard. The department was called out to evacuate the building and ventilate the flammable carbon monoxide from the scene. Sergeant Kyle Taylor gives us more details on how the situation was handled. Um, there was a call, the alarm come out for a uh, possible gas leak. Um, we arrived at Texas Roadhouse and checked out the scene, uh, took a gas monitor in, and it was reading high lower explosive limits, LELs, which can indicate that there's a possible leak. After the investigation, we discovered that it was an HVAC system not allowing proper ventilation of the building, which in turn had caused the carbon monoxide levels to rise in the building. We evacuated the building um, for safety purposes, and then uh, we called the UMG, the utilities guys, and they were able to shut off the gas to the building. Then we ventilated the area, the building real well, with fans, using high pressure fans. Gas leak hazards can happen in the home as well. For anyone using gas to heat their home, Taylor recommends installing a carbon monoxide detector to prevent any harm to you or your family. Carbon monoxide is odorless, tasteless, colorless, so there's no scent. The only way you're going to know is by having a carbon monoxide detector that is there. And um, they're pretty cheap to buy for home use. If you have propane heat or if you've got any gas heat, it can pick up the elevated levels and tell you when to get out. Some of the symptoms of carbon monoxide poison include dizziness, headache, confusion. These things can be bad. That carbon monoxide detector, most of them go off at about 30 parts per million. Um, anything over 200 parts per million can cause severe symptoms, vomiting, um, dizziness, severe sickness, and actually may cause you to be hospitalized. So it's very important that if you run these type of things, you got that detector so you know if there's a leak or anything going on. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.